In this Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to rip up packages and cut classes. There's a lot of times where you run into code online and in the Action Script 3 help file that's wrapped in package and classes and it doesn't work in the timeline. I'm going to teach you how to adapt it to work in your timeline. So we press uh, Flash Action Script 3 project and now we have a new project here. And uh, what we'll do is open the help file and like we were a beginner looking for code and there's a package right there but what I'll do is I'll type in package it's already typed in I'll type it in I'll press search there'll be a whole bunch of examples in here and uh, the one I'll choose is the one they they set up the example in the help file for scrolling text in a text field in action script 3 so you'll notice that here's all the text and I'm going to press uh, C to copy it. And uh, you'll see it says the following example creates a text field that is set in a size and contains more text than the field can display at one time. As the user clicks on the text field, this text scrolls vertically. Alright, great. Thanks for the help. Flash help file and then you go and you put it in your timeline. So I put all that code in my timeline that they told me to. Wait, let me make sure. In many cases, da, 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 da. Yep. Let's see if it works. Let's publish out. Oh no, I get errors. Let's see what they say. Packages cannot be nested. Oh. So as a beginner you don't know what the hell to do with that you just like okay packages cannot be nested so let's remove the package So we move the opening bracket Here, let me show you what I did I remove the opening bracket and the package and the closing bracket for the package let's remove that now let's run the code press F12 oh darn it I get more errors now it says the public attribute cannot be used outside of a package or the public attribute can only be used inside of a package. So what you do is you remove the public. Anywhere it says public, you remove that. Now let's run it again. Another error. Let's take care of that one. Classes must not be nested. Okay. Let's go in. Let's get rid of the class. Let's cut that class right out of there. Now let's run the code. It says the private attributes may only be used on class property definitions. Interesting. So, private, anywhere it says private, remove that. And it'll tell you each time. When you render out, the errors will tell you what you should do. Or what you should try and remove. And so now we have the privates out. Now we're publishing and here is the results it's just totally blank well, what the hell am I supposed to do with that I'll tell you what you're supposed to do with that you go back into flash you look at the code real good and you need you realize that there's a function here that tells the text field to display so let's take that function with the opening and closing um, parentheses there control C go down to the very bottom of the uh, script, press control V and then put a semicolon after it. Now press F12. Booyah baby. Now you can see now I can use their example for easily scrolling te uh, scrolling any text I want in Flash and you can see that inside of the file that text line is right here. Hello world and welcome to my show. It's really nice. Blah 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 blah. blah. And when on the page, you'll see there's all that text. Hello world and welcome to, to the show. Blah, 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 blah. And it lets you easily scroll the text. The user's mouse just goes inside the box and they scroll their wheel. So that's an easy way to scroll text. There's a little tutorial for you. And this tutorial is really based about around uh, ripping up packages and cutting classes. That's how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions and need any help, 
We have a forum at Develop PHP where we talk about code and geeky stuff like that.